Hi, I'm Seth with Land of House. I recently built a 14 by 20 tool shed and I want to have some power in there. So in this video, I'm going to be hooking up two 270 watt solar panels to the building. So the plan for today is to build a sled that the two panels will rest on and I can use some paver stones later to adjust the angle as the year moves on. But in order to find the correct placement for these, whether they should be here or over there, I'm actually going to do the wire first. I have red and black solar wire with the MC4 connectors on there. This is 10 gauge, 70 foot. So I've got 70 foot of half inch conduit. Here's my 14 by 20 shed over here. So what I'm gonna do first is put my wire into the conduit and run it down to the shed so we will know how much room we have to work with as far as getting the panels into position. I'm gonna be running my solar panels in series, which means I'm gonna hook up the negative to positive on one of the panels and then use the two leads going to the shed down here. That being said, my positive wire from the panels is gonna be this male plug here. So I want to actually remove this from my 70 foot of red wire. And the reason I'm removing it is because it's gonna be stuffed down into half inch conduit and that MC4 connector is not gonna fit in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and I will save the uh, female end. Okay, so I took the male end off the red and the female end off of the black. I'm just gonna use some of this electrical tape here to get this tied together. So whenever I push this into my half inch conduit, it won't be coming loose. So I'm going to put a good bit of this on here because 60 something feet of conduit is going to definitely uh, pull on this. I believe this process is going to go a lot smoother if I go ahead and unravel the two different wires in a straight line out here in my field. Otherwise, it'll all be woven up and hard to get through the conduit. So let me do that real quick. <laughs> Now I'm just going to start feeding this wire through here and hopefully we'll be able to get all of this fed through the full 70 foot here. I'm just going to do one piece at a time because otherwise it would be a lot of work to pull that much wire through. Okay, we got that down. Now I'm going to come down to this end and just lightly pull this through until we get down. It was at that moment he realized he'd pushed the wire through the wrong end of the conduit. I have my black and red wire through the first piece of conduit here where I think it would be ideal to place these panels. So now I'm gonna move down to the next spot here and pull some more conduit across that. So let's go ahead and move this down here. So as you can see, this part is gonna be very repetitive. I'm just gonna continue this until we get down to the bottom of the hill over here. I have the wire pulled down here to the edge of my little hill next to the building. And I'm gonna be using a couple of these 90s to bring the wire down off of that hill, go over to the building, and then 90 back up into a box like this that will then go into the building. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. To make this turn, looks like I'm short by about uh, that much there. Let's go ahead and use the hacksaw to cut that down. I'm gonna come back later and put some adhesive on all of these. But for now, I'm just dry fitting to make sure that I get everything to the distance that I need here to reach the tool shed. As you watch this little series, remember that I am no professional. I am just a homeowner with a tool shed and a YouTube channel installing some solar power. So watch for entertainment purposes and be sure to contact a professional for your own install. Now it's time to get the wire into the building itself. I know there's a stud right here, so I'm gonna come over a couple of inches and I want this to be up high enough that it's gonna uh, stay away from that bottom plate. So right around here is where I'm gonna drill in. Let me go inside real quick and check to make sure that's a good spot. Yes, that spot works out well, so let me draw the parameter of this hole here. Okay. So 
swap over to a bigger bit. Okay, finally ready to push this wire into the shed here. I've gone ahead and put pipe adhesive on all the pipe up to this point. Each time one of the pieces of pipe joins together, I'm just pulling it back a little bit getting some of this PVC cement and coating on the uh, male side of it there and then push that back together and that should be good enough to keep bugs and water out. For now the wire run is done. I should have ordered another 20 to 30 feet. 70 wasn't quite enough. So we are right here at this point and I would actually like it to be closer to where my saw is over there for getting sun almost all day. So that being said, I have just 10 foot piece right here I've added for now, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and order another uh, 30 feet. Because as you can see right now, the sun has pretty well stopped hitting these panels because of a big tree. But if I had it over here, I could have uh, another hour or so of sun. And I could even cut this big tree here and get more sun early in the morning. But anyway, for now, we're just gonna pretend that they're going to be placed here and so let's go ahead and start working on our sled for holding up these panels. The ports that actually hold this up are going to be this little one by four and so I've got my mounting holes here which means I just want to simply drill a hole into the middle of my mount board here. Let's go about right here. And now I'm going to take a bolt with a washer through here it up in there okay maybe a bolt without a washer yep okay can't use that washer uh, so now I can just put this board that was cut on here and now I can simply tilt this up and see where that previous one is here see how well this idea works okay I'm gonna repeat that step on the next panel, just going along here, and then it will be ready to place on our four by fours. I now have both boards attached to the top and bottom with nuts and bolts. It's time to get the sled portion here, separated by about 90 inches, so that it can attach to this point right here on the end of our little mount here. The two panels together are quite heavy. Probably a two person job. See if I can lay these down and slide it up here. I was thinking to find the angle I need for the sun, I could just use some scrap boards here and hopefully bring that up some. Uh, for instance, that could go up to about that level there. And if I put one on the other side, it'll get it to a better angle. Okay, I believe that's gonna be good enough for now. I'm gonna come back later and do a better job at these supports here and here. But for now, the sled system is gonna be just fine. I'll have to be sure to cut down the grass and keep that out of the way. I think it's going to do just fine. Uh, I'm probably going to want this to be angled up another couple of feet um, to kind of hit the perfect spring and uh, fall time. That way uh, it kind of gets the best of both worlds. Okay, the wire is run inside of the building. We have the panels over here. Need some work, but good enough for now. I have to buy another 20 foot of this solar cable to get from here over to there. 
I might buy 25 feet just to be safe. Uh, and then I'll probably step up from half inch to one inch so that I can put that in a box, a little junction box, even though it's rated for outdoors. Okay, so in the next video, I'm gonna be either putting receptacles around in the building or actually installing charge controller, inverter, battery, and that type of thing. So subscribe so you'll be updated for when that happens. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. It's cold. I'm going inside.